pray for the success of the Bible study on tonight. There's something to be said to them to encourage and to inspire our hearts. Pray much for me and my family. <clears throat> Remember Elder and Sister Cannon in Rochester, their daughter, the two-year-old daughter went to the hospital on Monday for a simple procedure and had some complications. Oh. And she's still in the hospital struggling. So pray much for her that the Lord will bring her out of that. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you, Lord, and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for being a blessing unto us, for touching our hearts and our minds, and for being your presence on today. Lord, we come with thanksgiving, we come with praise, we come with uh, uh, thoughts of hallelujah in our hearts and our minds. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul that is here on today. Strengthen us, Lord, that you will know how to comfort our hearts and our spirit. Open up our understanding, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you would bless each and every request that's been made known. We ask you, Lord, that you bless the Kevin family. Lord, send for healing, send for deliverance yes. in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we know that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we're able to ask of things. And we ask you, Lord, that you continue to bless our study on tonight. Yes. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen.
sitteth in the seat of the scorner. Now, uh, uh, that word there, blessed, uh, in the Bible, it kind of has two meanings. Uh, when someone talks about being blessed, as we talked about last week, talk about uh, one being happy and one having the favor of God upon their life. They're blessed because God's favor is upon them. Right. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And, and we truly know you're blessed when you got God's favor upon you. Hallelujah. And, uh, but this word blessed here in the Hebrew, it means uh, to, to speak of someone who is blessed. In other words, to call someone blessed because they have the favor of God upon them. Amen. You see it. Amen. You see the favor of God upon their life. They're blessed individuals. And, and literally, when I, when I was studying this, I thought about uh, Elder David Ryder. One of the reasons why I came into holiness was because um, I was laying on my bed of affliction <laughs> in my room because uh, he shared an apartment in front of me. I shared one. No, I shared, I was in front of him. He shared an apartment in the back of me. And I was, I was laying up in the bed, tossing and turning. I'm saying, Lord, how come I can't be like him? You know, who I perceived as blessed. He didn't look like he had a care in the world. Amen. And the scripture says, the way of a transgressor is hard. Uh, I was living a uh, hard life. Yeah. Amen. And compared to how I could be living yeah. with the favor of God. Uh, and, and, and I was considering him, as this scripture says, blessed. Amen. Because uh, I see the, I saw, I literally saw the favor of God upon his life. And it caused me to be like him. And I cried out to God, God, help me to be like him. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So we see it again in the scriptures, we in Psalms uh, 1 and 1. He said, Blessed, amen, blessed. Uh, is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So this word blessed here is, is what we want to entitle our, our, our Bible study on tonight. Uh, blessed here is literally meaning those who are living the good life. Yes. Amen. Amen. And we should all strive to want to live the good life. Sure. Uh, uh, and and, and and striving to, to live the good life, it literally involves choices. Yeah. Amen. You gotta make the right choice. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. You gotta make the right choice. So he says here, blessed is him uh, is the man that walketh not where? In the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sinneth in the what? Now, in, in reading that, in reading that, I want you to pick out the words uh, uh, walking, standing, and, and well, it says, and sitting. Walking, standing, and sitting. Now, the, what that represents is a progression or a digression of an individual's life is not living the good life. Amen? That, that's uh, three stages of an individual who is not walking after God. Uh, first, they're, they're, they're walking, uh, and then, they're, they're, then they stop walking, now they're standing, uh, and, and they got so deep into, uh, uh, I want to I say sin, but so deep in the, the, the evil life, now they're sitting. Mm. Uh, now they're sitting. There's no movement at all. Uh, now they're sitting. So it's a, it's a digression. That's what this psalmist wants you to see. A digression. All right? Now notice this. Pick out the words here. Uh, 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 I've got 
sinner, and scorn. Follow? So he said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Walketh means to live uh, uh, under the influence of ungodly counsel. And un ungodly counsel is, is it's equivalent to wicked counsel. Uh, so it's, it's saying, blessed is the man that, that doesn't take wicked counsel. Uh, because that word wicked there, it means someone that's morally uh, deprived. You know, they're, they're, they're backwards. Uh, what, they call, what God calls good, they call evil. And there's people, uh, you may be thinking, think of some people who live that kind of lifestyle. Uh, I have to drop of a hat. Uh, uh, I have to drop of a hat. Uh, and, and stand there boldly and tell a lie. Uh, and, and he wants you to believe it. You know, calling others to stand up and do wicked. <laughs> you can think of somebody like that. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Thank you. And, and that's a wicked person. Uh, a wicked person. So, 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 uh, uh, a blessed person doesn't take wicked advice. All right? And then it says, nor standeth in the way of sinners. A sinner here is, is literally, if you were to search out, it literally means someone who is missing the mark. And the mark is the commandments of God. Amen? That's the mark, the commandments of God. And, and a, a sinner is, is one that, that literally, if we strip it all down, I'm going to give you the, the, the stripped down version of a sinner. A stripped down version of a sinner is someone who does not love God. Uh, because the Bible says, if you love me, you do what? Keep my commandments. Amen. And the sinner does not keep the commandments of God. Amen. Not only do they don't love God, but they don't love people. Amen. Because Jesus says, a new commandment I give unto you. I do unto others as I would have what? Have to do unto them. Amen. So uh, uh, the stripped down version of a sinner is someone who does Yeah. You know, so when, when good, it's hard to please people. 
it's hard enough to make people like that happen. No matter yeah. what happens in their life. Absolutely. Absolutely. The Bible, now you just remind me of the scripture. Do all things without murmuring and disputing, or murmuring and complaining. Right. Amen? Right. The reason why the children of Israel fell in the wilderness, they were doing what? Right. Complaining. Right. Now, what is God? How do we have food? What is God? We have drink. Huh? Uh, we, 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 uh, we brought us out here to die. We were living better in Egypt. Is that true? <laughs> were you really living better? No. In Egypt? No. Huh? And, you know, and, and, and people, people who, who brought or, or murmuring complain like that, huh? They, they, that, that's a bad choice. So what, what the psalmist is saying here in verse number one, if, if, if you want to live the good life, uh, you've got to make good choices. Yeah. And then you can't take the counsel of the wicked. Uh, and then you can't, uh, when it says stand in the way, it means you can't be buddy buddies with sinners. Uh, now, now, not saying don't, don't witness to them. Don't, it's not saying don't, don't have contact with them. Because we must, right? But I don't, I don't rely on sinners for advice. Uh, and I don't, I don't envy their lifestyle. Uh, I, I'm not trying to be like them. Amen? Uh, so, so if I get in, if I stand in the way of them, it literally means that you, you are receiving counsel from them. Uh, you're receiving instruction from them. They are your role model. Uh, you pattern your decisions after them. Amen. We don't live in the Holy Ghost now. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'd like to hold this so long. Thank you, Lord. And then he said, then he said, uh, don't sit in the seat of the scornful. See, once you start taking counsel from the wicked and then uh, taking uh, 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 money in with sinners, then it said, you'll sit uh, in, in, with sorrowful people. You'll become bitter just like them. Uh, you don't want to be bitter. Uh, bitter. Just a bitter uh, uh, sourpuss. Uh, thank you, Lord. My God. Let me tell you that to me. And it's choices. Uh, that's what he said. Make the right choice. If you want to live a good life, uh, you got to make the right choice. And if you need me tonight, you make the right choice. Uh, to live a good life. Amen? Not uh, a blessed life. Amen? So he said, he said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor what? Uh huh. Read. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Now, now, in, in according to Jewish history, this is how the Jews feel about the, the Torah or the, the law of the Lord. They believe that every time you read it, it brings you life. Uh, every time you read it, it brings you life. Every time you talk about it, it brings you life. Amen? That's why Jesus, when he was teaching in, 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 in St. John uh, chapter 15, he said, now are you clean uh, through the word which I have spoken unto you. Amen? Scripture says, how shall a young man cleanse his way by taking what? Heed to what? The word of God. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So, so when, you, when you say God's word and you read God's word, it actually cleanses you. It cleanses your mind. It cleanses your spirit. Amen? Because if you think about it, what's the problem with the man. Uh, we got a problem with our spirit. Uh, our, 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 the fall of man, our mind is messed up. Uh, why did God destroy the earth the first time? How long? Continually. Amen. And if, 
if we don't allow God to be a traitor of our heart, uh, our lives will be on evil continually. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Even, even today, if I, if, if I just give a little self disclosure, I'm, I'm studying God's word, I'm reading God's word, and evil thoughts are trying to penetrate my mind. Amen. Huh? Yeah. There's nothing but types 
Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. And so we need that. We need to know that. Yeah. So when we read the New Testament, yeah. we understand it better. I understand it better. Oh, yeah. Plan and purpose of you. Oh, how I forgot that. <laughs>
My mother used to tell me that all the time. And I used to get mad with her. Uh, because because uh, I used to, when she said it, I used to look at who I was keeping company with, and I used to shake my head. Right what you do. Because uh, it, it was a reflection of me. Uh, and now look what God did for me. For me, the company of you great people. <laughs>
But his delight is where? In the law of the Lord. In the law of the Lord. And, and what happened? And in his law uh -huh. does he meditate day and night. He, he meditates day and night. Right? Now notice, notice how he's really saying. He said, he basically said, delight in, in, in God's instruction and meditate in them always. That's what he said. He said, do you want to have a good life? He said, Desire God's instructions and meditate in them always. Desire to want to know the truth and to embrace the truth of God.
It's benefiting 
decision. His decision. Am I right? In a courtroom, whenever a judge hands down a sentence, he is that guy. It's not feeling. Yes. Huh? How much more to go? Who's the judge of all her? Huh? He's not a man that he should not. Not a son of man that he should repent. So whatever God has decided, it shall stand. Then he said, he said, all my counsel shall what? Disputes among one another, etc. 
The way God wants you to give itself. Huh? The way God wants you to worship Him with all your heart, your soul, and your might. It's huh? The way God wants me to interact with you. who I'm teaching up in here. Huh? How I got to do, how I got to love you. Huh? Am I right? It's seven. I can't change that. Uh, if I'm going to walk with God, I got to keep that ordinance. Uh, because it's given by a judge. It's a statute. It's not up for debate.
is angry and upset with God, and if his mother and father, like, like, they, like they eat more, sad, depressed, and oppressed, is, I'm going to tell you the reason. You want to hear the reason? Because they stop abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. They stopped, they got out of God's presence. In other words, and now the arrows that the devil is throwing is hitting them. Follow? They got away from God's protection. They stopped abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Let's dig it. All right. Let's go back. The statutes of the Lord are right. They're right. Rejoice in the heart. Uh -huh. The commandment of the Lord is pure. Now look, God's word is Torah. Uh, his instruction. They're what? Pure. pure. So therefore, they'll make you pure. Amen? They'll make you right. Am I right? Uh, 
know, I know it's that you always get depressed. <laughs> I'm like, there got some people that talk to me. Frank, you know, it looks like you get depressed in February. Your production this is my supervisor. Your production is going down. <laughs> That's what she did. Right. Uh, but but uh, I, I thought about it. Uh, that, that was the time when, when my father came. Yeah. So my father remembered the grief, the agony, the pain. Uh, your body remembers that stuff. Amen. Thank you. I don't know.
Case in point, to, to, to back up what he was saying. When the children of Israel and coming out of Egypt, some died, Moses died, he told Joshua, take them over. Uh, when they got to Jericho, that wall, did God give them instruction? What did God say? There is great reward. 
Now, when you keep God's command, when you keep God's instruction, there's a great reward. Oh, yeah. Huh? And this reward is greater than the riches. Huh? Do we believe that? Oh, yes. Um, all right, read it. We're going to read it. All right, read it. Who can understand his errors? Huh? Cleanse thou me from a secret fault. Now, now he's saying that. Who can understand his error? You need God to help you. you may, have you ever said to yourself, man, I don't know why this is happening to me? Huh? Why am I going through this? Uh, why do I always fail? You can understand. But when you turn your heart to seek God, He'll enlighten you. Not only will He enlighten you, but He'll tell you how to gain victory. Amen? Amen. Alright, let's go back over to, to the whole oh, other I just got tired of seeing it. Psalms 1. I read. You want to read 2 again? Yeah. That's all I read. Yeah, that, that's as far as we got. Okay. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. All right. Now, you guys have made your desire in God's instruction. Read. And in his law, does he meditate day and night? In God's instruction, meditate how often? Day and night. All right, read. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water uh -huh. that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Now, this is an imagery of the Garden of Eden. Amen? He's given us an imagery of the Garden of Eden. Read that again. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. There was a tree planted in the Garden of Eden. All right? What was that tree? The tree that we want. The tree of life. Amen. God wants you to be the tree of life. Amen. He's giving you the secret of a good life. Amen. Read. Be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. By the streams of water. Amen. Water carries life. Amen. You need water. Amen. Huh? God plants you by life. Amen. A flowing of life. The word of God is a flow of life. Amen. I read. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Now, whatever you plant that word in your heart, you shall bring forth fruit. Now, what does it mean in your season? God's time. When you plant a seed, it don't sprout up overnight. Uh, if it did, it ain't, it is, it's not deeply rooted. Uh, it's too shallow. And then, you know, I used to be in kindergarten when we had any kind of seeds. Uh, and they, they sprout up, little thin, little plant. You know how all happened. And then the next day, it's dead. Uh, because, you know, it had no root. Uh, it had no root. Uh, it had no root. You want to get yourself rooted uh, and bound yeah. in the word of God. Yeah. Be like the trees of Lebanon. Uh, when the wind comes and blows, it lies down, but after the storm, it rises back up. Yeah. Uh, why? Because it's rooted. Amen? Uh, you want to be deeply rooted in these 66 books. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, not uh, so forth and so Be rooted in God in them. Amen, my brother? I have one more to say. Amen. All of us born again believers have to grow up and be mature in the Word of God and stop being babies in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. That's the Bible, sir. <laughs> That's the Bible, sir. Amen. 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 That's Desire. Desire all together. Desire. Amen. I read. You read that. His leaf also shall not wither. Now his leaf shall not what? Wither. Amen. That means that you're so rooted in God. Amen. A leaf is there to protect the fruit. Amen. Of a tree. 